15 miles from downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Truist Park. The show brings you the game of the week. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shabby on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. Austin Riley riding a power surge coming into this one. Chris, he's forward in four straight games. He is managing to find pitches that he can barrel up and do damage with. And really, that's the key for him. As long as he can get the back to it, because he's so strong, there's a good chance that it leaves the ballpark. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. High fly ball out into left center field. Arcia moving under it. Corrals it. And there's one down. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. Ripped to third and caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. All these gathers and throws to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. It's the Phillies nothing. Braves coming up. You're watching Major. We go to the bottom of the first, and now the center fielder, Jordan Luplo. Here comes a pinch. Luplo. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Foul off down the right side. Misses. Get a count one and two. It's a good take. That oh. one way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Rojas makes a nice running catch. Right. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. He had the sixth spot for them in this one. Ozzie Albies. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. When he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency. That bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. Left-hand batter waits. Ball two. Rip towards third. Whips it across. And here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Two outs, bases the empty. Right and here is Ronald, Ronald Acuna, Acuna Jr. 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 That's to third stop. Jumps, throws, in time. Oh. Got him. And that'll do it. End of one. And we're still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Luke Lowe going back. That one is gone. He hammers one out to center. It's 1-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate and at bat. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. Gave it a great effort, but you know, those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Boots it. To first, and he just gets it there in time. Run away. And now it is JT Real Muto. Line drive. Makes the grab for the second out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Brandon Marsh stands in now and watches strike one. 
That one to first, and that chance handled. Oh. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So the Phillies strike first with a solo home run. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're done. Bottom half of inning number two. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. A wind in the pitch. Now drive, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. And now Matt Olson up to hit. The first base hit. Well struck, deep right field, went back, out of here! A towering shot. That's his fourth home run of the series. It's 2-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. See a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. The top hitter in the National League entering the day. On the ground, and it stays fair. Around first and hustling for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. He just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent bat control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And that one fouled off. The pitch. There's a hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Here's Orlando Arcia. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. And there's one down. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Jason DeLay. I'm liking the power he's shown recently. Three home runs over the last five games. Foul ball there. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Next offering way off the plate. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Now batting Jordan Luplo. Yeah. That clips the zone. Strike one. All ones count. Traffic on the bases with two already in to score here in the third and final game of the series. Swing and a miss. Oh, with two down. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. Gonna have to regroup here. Oh, and two now. That's a base hit as a run scores. Comes through with the RBI. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Hit in the air, center field. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch, inning over. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We play two full. Back here in Atlanta, this is Bryson Stott. The line of the pitch. 
on the ground to the left. And foul ball. Morton, multi-time all-star. He throws a slurve, a four-seamer, a change-up, a cutter, and he works in a sinker. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so oh, frustrating yeah. when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Hit in the air, right field. Acuna there. Brings it in. And there's one away. Here's Turner now. There's a strike. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And the pitch. That one just misses. Going to count one and two. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He's got it, and there's two away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he oh, was on down. it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, Aye. it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. One ball, one the pitch. Aye. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. One ball. Stop. Two Off the of first with two Aye. away. Goes down looking. So one hit is all they get. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Back at Truist Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. And the right hander back to work. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Line drive, caught. Here's Austin Riley. Singleton scored his first time. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And he hits a ground ball right side. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good hittable fastball early in the count. No ball, two strikes. Next pitch inside. Now one and two. O2 two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Two outs, bases empty. Check swing, and that's a ball. by the call out there in the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the Empire strike zone. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Three up, three down. Four. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Bryce Harper. Line drop to short and caught. Well, baseball can be cool, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Schwarber at it for the second time, and that's strike one. Fouled off to the right. One down, base is empty. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Mm -hmm. 
Ronaldo Lopez comes on now. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boo. Right Averaging on. more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Right through there for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that one is going to go. His 18th home run of the season. It's 3-2. Sometimes it's the pitcher looking at the scoreboard for velocity, but in this case, it's the hitter. He just turned around triple digits at the dish. I don't even know how he saw that pitch. Maybe he didn't, but he got a home run out of it. And it's fouled away. The Phillies down by a run. Top half of inning number four. And that's through there for a strike. Off the plate inside, and it's one and two. And he grounds one to the right side. And nope, that's, that's just foul. Righty delivers. And Two now balls. it's even up. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in the third and final game of the series. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Olsen makes a nice grab at a full sprint. The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. It's now a three. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here is Ozzy Albies up to him. Albies. This one ripped, but foul to the right. And he deals. To the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. The left fielder, number 20. Marcel. Oh, Here's Marcelo Zuna. One for one with a single so far. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Fought off foul. And the right-hander deals. Fouls it back with two strikes. And a pitch. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. And that one hops the wall. Around first. Digging for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but ball one, no you're break. always happy with an extra base hit. In the dirt, but kept close. Man at second. Chop to third. Stop. Throws the first in time. Two down. Here's the catcher, now Jason now. DeLay. Yeah. He struck yeah. out swinging yeah. in his first at bat. Yeah. Bounce to the left side. Stop. Whips it to first. And that is that. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Braves three and the All set for the start of the inning. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. And we are starting over. It's 3-3. Three, three. This game is breathing new life thanks to that home run, and that's exactly what they needed. Here's the third baseman, Bryson Stop. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. 
Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. He's got it. And there's one down. So the Philly batting order turns over. And now, Trey Turner. And that one is lifted in the air. Ozuna should have it. Ozuna pulls that one down. Whit Merrifield digs in now. Out towards right center field. Luke Lowe sizes this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We're tied now with three apiece. You're we head to the bottom of the field. Now here is Jordan Luplo. Wheeler back to work. Luplo. Fouled off. He was late. Luplo goes five feet, 11 inches, 195 pounds. And he's usually at right field, but today he's patrolling center. That one fouled off. Some guys love to make that adjustment from the corner spot to center field because in center, you get the best view of the ball game. You're looking straight in at the hitter's area. On the corners, you're blocking a little bit. That missed by a lot. The count now two and two. That one missed. The pitch. Got it. Swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now here's Jared Kelman. And a foul ball. It's up empty. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Acuna in the box here. Let's that one go for the He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Next one, one in the dirt. in time three up three down inning over Braves go down quickly here score remains tied at three Lopez back to work Harper leading things off and takes a strike well, these Phillies, well, even in their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat, and that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Nope. Good eye right there. Now fly ball to right center. Luplo makes the grab, and there's one away. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber. And there's a foul ball. One out, base is empty. That misses. And it's one and one. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. That one ripped. Luplo going back. And brings it in at the wall. 
Here's Nicholas Castellanos. That one finds the zone. It's 0 1. All tied up. And we're in the top half of the six. One and one. Not even close there. One and one. Right through there for a strike. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in, and that's a two-bagger. Putting some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And That's another cool. ball. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Bounce to the right side. Albies in plenty oh. of time to first. And Real Muto is out. Third out, and that ends the frame. So they can't do anything with a two-out double. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five. Back at Truist Park. Yeah, there we go, bottom right, six. Right. Now the third base with Austin Riley. Yeah. As he turns yeah. on the rubber. Yeah. With that good live arm delivers. Swing and a miss. That's oh, strike right. one. Ground ball, base now. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Here is Matt Olson having a huge season. Comes into the day leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Some stirring in the bullpen for the Phillies. Andrew Bellotti appears to be getting loose. Strong. A left-hander. Also thrown. And a good eye there. With the go-ahead run at first here in the bottom of the sixth. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Christopher Sanchez. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. All these goes after that one for strike one. He's looking for a strikeout or a ball on the ground for a double play to sort of calm this situation down. Ground ball, left side. They get the tag on him, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. The batter, the left field. Marcelo Zuna, next up for the Braves. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. And that is back. He circles the bases. Home run number 30 on the year. It's 5-3. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Easy, that's for sure. Arcia, hey. the batter now as he swings and oh, misses for count. strike one. Hey. Big swing and a miss. This guy's got such oh, a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And it's in He's time out. for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now 5-3. Back here in Atlanta. 
So they turn things over to the righty, Penn now Murphy. Well, he's a big time strikeout Number guy 50. out there. This season, ah, averaging yeah. more than one per inning. On, on the ground, right side, Albies. To first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Bryson Stock. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, one's the count. The Phils down by a pair here in the top half of inning number seven. And there's a ball. On the ground to third, and that squirts through. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. And it's second with one away. And now, Johan Rojas. Breaking ball through there for a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big oh, run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close. Got it! Two gone now. Probably it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him the space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Ground ball, Austin Riley. Third out. Phillies strand one. They're still down, 5-3. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Andrew Bullock. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Delay. The leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Swings and misses. Oh, and it's 0 2. Oh. And that one missing low. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Hey, and the strike. slider oh, just misses. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. That's the third. Sends it across oh. the first. One up, one down. Now, yeah. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And now here is Jordan Luplo. One for three. Ball one, no strikes. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. I got a ball, one strike. Ball and another two. ball. The pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. One down. Base is empty. Here go. Checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. Didn't go. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. He's in at second with a one out double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. At the play, Jared Kelman. At the that misses the zone. One and oh. Base hit around third. He scores. It's six to three. It's around the board and picks up an RBI. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Yeah, a foul ball.
the 0 1. Gets him to chase after that one. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Got him swinging. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Riley now at the plate as he swings through strike one. He's been great in this one. Eye hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. On the ground to third. Stop. Zips it across. That's out number three. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single, and they've doubled up now. It's we go to the eighth and digging in for Philadelphia with Merrifield right through there for a strike. Well, it's critical oh, right. right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Oh, and two now. Three. Got him lifted, and that's one away. As the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Oh, that was a pretty poor cool bat. He just never got the bat off his shoulder. I mean, you got to go up there looking to swing at some point, especially once you're down 0-2. And at that point, make an adjustment. Look to put the ball in play if it's anywhere close. And I'm just not sure what the plan was there. The 0-2. That's a little bit low. This is the type of hitter his club Two wants it to play, especially playing from behind. He's hoping to start a rally right here. The Braves leading by three. And we're in the top of the eighth. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially on with one. two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Outside low. And that is ball one. And he can't come up with it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. Well, new pitcher will be the lefty, Matt Strong. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. The pitch. In the air, left field down the line, and that's a foul ball. Strom measures six feet two inches 190 pounds and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in the state of North Dakota hit weekly on the ground Turner tosses to first one up one down good arm side run to that same side hitter right there very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it just pours in on the hands First offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Marsh snags it for the second out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front now, shoulder now, now. coming open no instead of staying here. closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Ozuna in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Gregory Soto, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Nelson, a right-hander, loosening up as well. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. New inning getting started. And now for the Phillies, Nick Castellanos on the ground. And it goes just foul. And a foul ball. At the belt and finals. Popped up left side. Riley pulls it down. One away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. And they look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Real Muto, batting with one down, takes a strike. And there at the knees. And a foul is 0-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top of the night. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. 
This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Back. Goal. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 6-4. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dead. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hit. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. He's got a ball game. And the Braves finish off a three-game sweep here in front of the home crowd. Ball with the sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourself. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by the game of the week. I'm John Shambi. We'll talk to you soon. The final line for a call of all this afternoon for the victorious